Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. One more time. One more time. One more time. What? Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna. Oh, with me? Yeah. Oh, she'll yeah. Disappear. I'll she'll be disappear. here a little bit tomorrow, but I'll probably be at, my, at Mama Sparkles' house. All right. So we're gonna talk about the ill-conceived Monster Hunter movie that looks nothing like Monster Hunter the game, mm -hmm. and how it's been pulled from Chinese theaters because there was a scene that they considered racially offensive. Ironically, I think some of these changes were made to the movie to make it uh, uh, more palatable, I would think, to Chinese audiences. Like, we guess China. Yeah. Make China! It, make it more of a, a big Hollywood blockbuster type movie that has very little to do with the beloved Capcom game franchise. And now it's been pulled from Chinese theaters. How ironic. And uh, it's not stopping there, though. Uh, Chinese audiences are actually review bombing the video games. Are they now. really? Yeah. So the, the video game, which has clearly has nothing to do with this yeah, movie. Yeah, and the games. I mean, like that's one of the ones Squid King likes, isn't it? He loves it. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know a lot of people who like this game. And now they're going, and because they're mad about the movie, they're, they're review bombing the game. Yes. But the game had nothing to do with the movie. Right. Okay, uh, then. Because I don't think they're allowed to review Bomb uh, going out to Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, well, Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, you're allowed to review Bomb. Oh, it's not up yet. Okay. Yeah, it's not up yet. So they're going and they're review bombing the game. Because so oh, it's not up in the United States. Well, that's what, interesting. When did they release it in China? Uh, I don't know exactly. We're going to find out. Just uh, Friday. Okay, right. okay, that's not unusual because um, they were saying that the global box office was concerned because they were not releasing American films in the global box office, and the global and they said that the box office or the studios said they didn't want to do that unless they were going to release it in the United States within a week or two because they were afraid if they released it overseas that people would be selling the high seas and that they wouldn't get the money when it was over here. But I guess since it's all up in the air with releases in the United States, they just went ahead and tried to get the Chinese money and it bit them in the ass. Yeah. So, uh, good. Because this movie, I'm sorry, it looks like dog shit. It looks nothing like Monster Hunter. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Before we get into it, please subscribe. For more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, and Geeky oh, yeah. is uh, buying toys for underprivileged kids for Christmas. She's got our entire back room, our, our storeroom is completely full of toys. I'm trying. There's still like 15 kids in that angel tree, and I'm trying to get them all, but... I'll see what I, I'll do. What I can do. We're gonna we're gonna do what we can. Try do. to make sure all those kids get Christmas. Um. So if you go out to her shop, there's the URL for it. I'll put it in the description too. Anything you buy from her Etsy shop, she's gonna put the proceeds towards buying more toys for kids, and she's got some some pretty cool stuff up there. Um, well, it's not but, the greatest. I, I might. Yeah. I'm debating. I might see about doing five more pins. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's we'll see what we have. Yeah, we'll see what we have. So trying to do what she she can do. Obviously, this year, uh, kids are in need more than than other years, it seems, because a lot of people are out of work. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not tw it's 2020. It's not good. Uh, so speaking of not good, let's let's talk about Monster Hunter. Yes. Uh, this movie looks not good. And we can go back and and talk about the uh, the backlash this movie's had. But um you know, here we go. Monster Hunter pulled from Chinese cinemas amid backlash over scene considered racially offensive. Uh, so we got to give a hat tip to Bounding in the Comics. I saw it here first. Well, see, I actually saw it, was it yesterday? It was all over the place? Yeah, yesterday. Uh, yesterday or day before, I saw it. I didn't even send it to you because I didn't think you'd care. <laughs> but I saw it. I was like, well, surprise. It's, you know? it's interesting because they, they turned it into like an army type, uh, very Western yes. A big budget Hollywood movie that looks very unlike the Monster Hunter games. Um, well, to be fair, they turned the board game Battleship into a movie that looked very unlike the the yeah. Battleship game. But I like that movie actually. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do with Battleship? But it's kind of the I, I guess I call it like the the Transformers conundrum, mm -hmm. where you take an existing franchise, uh, you got what historically worked in the franchise you put a lot more army people into it mm -hmm. and then that's how you market it to the okay, chinese yes, yes. i guess i don't know um so online backlash world in china on friday over a scene in monster hunter that has resulted in the movie being pulled from the country's cinemas the paul ws anderson directed feature film uh adaptation of the game had been eyeing the market as one of its biggest plays but, really yeah because 10 cents getting involved in this but a short exchange in the film has been perceived as racist by local audience uh, audiences and has led to it being abruptly halted late yesterday, the first first day of its launch. Okay, so this is the audiences in China? 
The yes. same people who were mad or put, had actually was it China or was that had the commercial with the black guy and they put him in the washing machine. He came out white. That yes. Okay. Yeah. This, so they're experts on this. Okay. China, which uh, again, you know, talking about Star Wars and all that, right. they shrunk Finn down. Yeah, on you the couldn't. You could. To, you had to make changes to yeah. Finn's part because you know he's black. That you know, but the racism. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, they know all about it, right? right so right. we understand that <laughs> so, Tencent, which is handling local distribution, and is, is an equity partner in the film. Oh. Uh, is working with the Chinese government and agencies involved to remedy the situation, i.e. removing the offending scene. But it remains unclear if the movie would be re-released in local cinemas. So what is the scene? Uh, they, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. We're okay. getting there. We're okay. getting there. Um, here, here it is. The 10-second scene that has generated an outcry features Asian-American rapper actor Jin Ah Young, uh, MC Jin, who at one point riffs to his scene partner, Look at my knees. What kind of knees are these? Chinese. This is being linked to a racist playground rhyme used to mock children of Asian, Asian origin. Upset, we understand, has further been sown by the scene's local subtitles. So apparently the translation of it was <laughs> Made it worse. It was probably like, you know, Chinese should be on their knees or something, and it didn't play very well. Oh, no. Uh, this is like what Backstroke to the West. Did oh, you ever see the Star Wars? No. Episode 3, they, they translated it. I think it was from Chinese or from Mandarin. And they translated the subtitles with, I think it was Google Translate, oh and it was a, a, a mangling of all the the dialogue. Oh, um, we should do that. We should go. We should go get something that's been translated into their language, translate it back, and then dramatically reenact it. So yeah, we should. We should. That'd be hilarious. You know who'd be fantastic at it? Squid King. Yes. Yeah. Pinky'd be pretty good too. But Squid King would be fantastic at it. Uh, Monster Hunter had limited sneak uh, previews on Thursday in China before going wide yesterday. So first day it gets pulled out of theaters. It landed in third place for the day behind new local toes Soul Snatcher and The End of Endless Love. How, how does that work? How does that work? <laughs> Final, final, final fantasy, really. My, my end of my endless love that's supposed to be endless. Uh, through Friday midnight, Monster Hunter had grossed about $5 million, which pretended a weekend in the mid to high teens before the film was stopped. It's infinity without knee. Oh. <laughs> so, I couldn't. <laughs> I'm on a roll today. He wouldn't let me put one of the jokes I had for one of the other videos. It was a good joke. It was too good, and YouTube wouldn't like it. <laughs> YouTube wouldn't like it. Uh, it's our understanding, according to Deadline, that the reaction has taken those involved in the film by surprise. Because Tencent's involved in this. Well, not just that. They have him, they have that, and then they have an Asian-American rapper who, who they make the joke, and they are themselves partially Chinese, I'm assuming. Um, so they probably like... This I, is okay. We don't think there's anything wrong with what, it. Was it was it the subtitles? Were the That's subtitles? What I don't know. I love what the subtitles say. Oh my god! This uh, this kind of reminds me of um, um, Goonies when Mouth is translating. Oh my the god! <laughs> yeah, but he's deliberately he's deliberately. It up. What if what if they're doing it just to screw American audience? What yeah. if somebody in China, somebody handling the subtitles, just tin foil hat? What if they're deliberately mistranslating movies? I don't think that's happening, but that'd be hilarious, especially since a lot of countries like China have now um, tried start developing their own films. They already did before, I know, but like they're starting to try to do more so and push more into the theaters. And I'm talking more like smaller countries, but China oh, is one of them too to try to get the, the box office back up. So they were they were actually giving incentives for people in their own countries to make films. Uh, I'm sure China probably you know same thing. And you know, so what if you don't want to go up against an American film? Let's uh, tank the American film. <laughs> so I, it, I don't think that's what happened, but. All right. So it's particularly notable given any movie vying for Chinese theatrical release goes through a rigorous vetting right, process. I know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And it never got flagged. So Monster Hunter is produced by a German company, uh, Anderson's Impact Picture, Tencent, and uh, oh. Toho. So Capcom, creator of the game, posted did not produce the feature, but it has relayed online feedback to the relevant companies. I'm sure they're getting all kinds of Yeah, crap. they have nothing to do with it. Um, so we have heard other markets debuting Monster Hunter this weekend include Taiwan, the Middle East, and the Netherlands, who have been performing in line with or above expectations. Well, that's good news. But this movie was tweaked, I believe, for, and they even said, for Chinese audiences. Tencent's involved in this yeah. movie. And it, first day, first day they pulled out of theaters. But I mean, the good news is it's doing better in other countries. But now they're going in there. Now, the real problem is... Not that they pulled the film. It's that they're blaming it on the game. 
Yeah, that was really interesting. Um, this came up yesterday because I think because Rotten Tomatoes is down. Yeah, well, no, it won't be available until yeah. it's released in the United States. So they're review bombing the game, um, which makes no sense. But I guess if you're pissed, you got to go somewhere and vent, right? Monster Hunter World review bombed on Steam as backlash to movie grows in China. Uh, so yeah, they're talking about this. They said, uh, it was reported by Variety. Here's what's going on. Um, according to some reports, it appears an edited version of the film removing the joke may also be banned in China, effectively stopping the movie from appearing in the country. Capcom released a statement yesterday distancing themselves from the film. They should have distanced themselves from the film when there was immediate backlash. This explains, though, because they said they had very little to do with it. Mm -hmm. This explains why the movie looks nothing like the game. Mm -hmm. Because Capcom wasn't involved. They probably just said, how, how many millions do you want to give us for the rights? Okay. That's yeah. Why. But they tried to help originally, and they were basically told, they didn't sit and spit, we don't want your advice. We just want your your name. And they're like, well, go for it. Knock yourself out. And, you know. Yeah. So, um, the original version of Transformers, like, Michael Bay was kind of like, thanks, but no thanks to Hasbro. Mm -hmm. He was actually going to like completely redesign Optimus Prime and have like George Clooney play him and all this other stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> but that's why Hasbro, when they came in, you know, after that, and they have Hasbro Studios now, they're like with Bumblebee, starting with Bumblebee, they're like, no, these, these characters have to look like themselves. Well, it didn't help that the fans were pissed. Oh you yeah. Know? And, and we saw the same thing with She-Ra and we saw the same things with Thundercats, you know, and stuff like that. These companies aren't allowed to have a say in it. And then it all goes to hell in a handbasket because they don't care. Care. Are they just trying to appease whatever demographic they're trying to appease or China and they don't care about the, the core property. Yeah, I mean, this is this is hilarious though. They're just like, yeah, we, we didn't produce the movie. We don't have anything to do with it. So we're uh, you know, we're gonna point you in the direction of the people that completely fucked up this movie. Yep. Um so anyway, they do have a movie tie-in where they have some of the voice actor or they have uh, some of the characters from the movies doing playable characters. Uh, in Monster Hunter World. So all this has led to Monster Hunter World on Steam being review bombed with many recent negative reviews directly referencing the movie's offensive joke. A lot of reviews reference some other racist shit. It's a, it's a giant shit show that's only... This is actually in Kotaku. It's a giant shit show that's only getting worse. Uh, what do the reviews say? I don't know. Let's let's go look. Let's go yeah, look. Yeah, it's that Chinese idiots about men kneeling and stuff like that. Before I played Monster Hunter World, I had a small Wii Wii. Okay. Oh, it's all in Chinese. Oh, okay. It's all in Chinese. Uh, are they pulling some of them? Yeah, imagine being upset over a joke. Uh, combat takes getting used to it. Looks like they're pulling a lot of the... Imagine getting upset over a joke and then they're getting this mad. Have you been to Twitter? Yeah... Uh, have you been to Twitter? Yeah, right. So, um, anyway, it's odd that the Monster Hunter film was vetted by the Chinese officials and has pointed out the subtitles in the English dialogue don't match. Okay, that's what you said. And that's what happened. Yeah. Um, interesting. So, they probably fucked the up the translation. Are, whoa, 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 but they don't match. So they put a Chinese idiom in it. Which would have been caught. So maybe you're right. Maybe they were like, hey, well, this movie's going to go up against two of our big Chinese films. Let's put this in it, even though that's not what it says. Hmm. I don't know. It's just weird, dude. It's this weird. This is weird. Uh, so, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, you know, Capcom, this sucks for them because, you know, their brand is going to be damaged because of this, this screw up. Uh, I mean, their brand was going to be damaged because the movie looked god-awful anyway. Mm -hmm. but oh, now yeah, it's Squid King, and you were both like, what the hell? I like, wasn't familiar with it, so... We're like, this isn't Monster Hunter. What the hell is this? Yeah. This is Squid an King army was, movie. He was like, he was not happy. Yeah, like, you know, this is a this is an army movie. This isn't Monster Hunter. So, yeah, it's... it's a, Ten cents an investor. They were banking on Chinese money, and now they're not going to get any. Uh, because of uh, whatever the hell happened. Well, this yeah, this is not good. Um, but good news, in other countries, it's performing better or at expectations. So, for whatever that means in 2020. Don't encourage them to make a sequel. No, I'm just saying for whatever that means in 2020. Because yeah. they're always going to spin it in the best light possible. It isn't doing great, but it's doing better than we thought it would in 2020. So, we're going to say it's a success. We so, thought we were going to make $15 and we made $32. It's a success. That's right. It's above yeah. expectations. Just like Disney with their their earnings call. Like we performed better 
than the absolute worst case scenario. That's what they did. It's like, I, I was I joke. It's like, we didn't come in last. We came next to last. So, yay. Yay. You know, that's kind of what this reminds me of. But I'm like, why would, okay, why would you put something like that in there? If you, you know, I just don't understand why you wouldn't change it. Apparently, yeah, they said that they edited the joke out, but it, it seems like now they that. after it's already got out there. All right, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, maybe they won't do a sequel. Maybe they I won't. don't think they're going to. All right. Uh, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Again, guys, check out uh, the link to Geeky Shop if you want to help buy some some toys for kids for Christmas. Um, it would be appreciated. We'll talk to you later. Bye.